Hello and welcome to the Engine channel. Today I will present to you a comparison between two kinds of how effect sensors I already have mounted here with uh, two circuits. Each one has a different type of how effect sensor. In the left I have the bipolar model with uh, the code of 41F and in the right side of the breadboard I have the unipolar model, which one has a code of 3144. So before I start the tests, I would like to ask to you, of course, if you like the video, please thumbs up and consider to subscribe as well. So let's start to explain about the circuits that I am arranged in the breadboard and as well the pins numbers and the function of each pin. Other component that I'm having here in the left side of the breadboard, it's a DC power supply. This is just to keep the circuit with a stabilized 5 volts DC. However, the how effect sensor can work until 24 volts DC. So starting for the left sensor, I have the pin 1 is the VDC that is connected with uh, power supply. As well, I have the center pin that is number 2. The pin number 2 is connected to the ground or 0 volts. And finally, I have the third pin, the pin number 3. And this one is the output of the how effect sensor. For the how effect sensor in the right side of the breadboard, the sequence of the pins and the function is the same. So it doesn't matter if the how effect sensor is unipolar or bipolar, the pin numbers respect the same order and as well has the same function. Just to emphasize, in the left side I have the bipolar model with the code of 41F and in the right side I have the unipolar mode with the code of 3144. So, to be possible, see what happened with the output of the both how effect sensors. I'm also connect a LED with a resistor to show how is the behavior of the output. The resistor is necessary even if you don't have the LED because according to the datasheet of the manufacturer, the boat how effect sensors has a open collector output and for this reason is necessary this pull up register in the output. So let's start the test. Uh, I will plug the DC power supply to make the circuit energize it with 5 DC volts. Now I push the button of the breadboard power supply. We can see that the bolt LEDs connected in the output of HFX sensors turn on and we'll keep in this way until we have uh, activation of the how effect sensor. To make the magnetic field we need something to generate that and for this case I will use this neodymium magnet. First of all I will gonna test the sensor in the right side that is the unipolar mode with the code 3144. I will start approaching the magnet with the plane surface as you can see and this plane surface is the north pole of the magnet. So even if I put the magnet very close to the front of the sensor nothing happened with the north pole of the magnet. 
that's because the model is unipolar and as usual the unipolar mode only works with one magnetic pole and this pole is the south now approaching the magnet with the other surface we can observe that the LED will switch off and keep off until I keep the magnet in front of the sensor. However, if I remove the magnet in front of the sensor, we can see that the LED turn on. So for how effect sensor unipolar model, when I have the south magnetic field, I have a transition of the sensor output. Let's try now test the how effect sensor bipolar in the left side of the breadboard. As the name indicates, this sensor will work with uh, north pole and south magnetic pole. Let's try with the south pole of the magnet. As you can see, when the sensor detects the magnetic field of the south pole, we have a transition in the output turning off the LED. The same behavior of the unipolar mode. However, when we remove the magnetic field moving away the magnet, the LED doesn't turn on, differently of the unipolar mode. That's happened because the bipolar mode that we are testing now has the characteristic of latching the output. So the transition only will occur when we have the opposite magnetic field, in this case the north pole of the magnet. Resuming for the bipolar mode, we have the north pole to switch on the LED and the south pole to switch off the LED. If we don't have any magnetic field near to the how effect sensor, they keep the last state of the output. Summarizing before I finish the video, the bipolar mode has the latch function in the output and works with uh, both magnetic poles, north and south. However, the unipolar mode only works with uh, south pole and doesn't have the latch effect in his output. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.